We had a cute little guest last night. Paris! <laughs> Hi! Oh, I can't even get you to focus. Yeah. Good girl, Paris. And you're gonna go home and go a car ride? <laughs> go in a car ride? Yeah? You ready to go in a car? You ready for a go car? Yeah? Wait, let's go. Hi guys. <laughs> Looking at the footage Kaylee got for me this morning, we had a little guest stay overnight with us. Luckily she took full responsibility of Paris is her name. It is her boyfriend's dog. Well, it's her, her boyfriend's family's dog. Um, his family is out of town for um, this midwinter break week. He is not, his brother is not. They decided to not go. This is why we need to teach him how to travel because they had no desire to go on their vacation. I don't know why, but we're gonna, we're gonna change that for him. But their dog, I think, was probably abused by men um, with the previous owner. And this is like years and years ago. But this dog is so skittish around just boys. And so last night when Kaylee was over hanging out, at his house before his parents, well, I guess right after they left to go on their vacation, that dog just did not like mom being home and just wouldn't settle down, was really antsy, really anxious, couldn't kind of settle in for the night. And uh, so she called his mom and was like, can I just take her home? <laughs> and they're like, please, we just want her to be comfortable. And so <clears throat> I think it was just like the, family leaving and just kind of made a dog kind of skittish. I'm, I don't know that we're going to have to have the dog come over every night. <laughs> Maybe we will, but that'll be up to Kaylee to decide if if so. Um, but she was cute being here last night. She hopped up in my lap while I was watching Bachelor and just kind of snuggled in with me, kind of getting used to the family. And um, she's been over four, but just for like an hour. And so um, I guess Kaylee was up all night with her. She just was whining and then someone's car alarm went off this morning. So not too um, bad, but obviously, I don't know, Kaylee's gonna have her come back over tonight. She will if she needs to, I'll just say that. But I have been on a uh, call, a virtual call. I have become a point person with the, um, what do you call it, the Northwest Blood Drive. And, uh, I don't know, my, I, it's technically through my church that they asked me to do this and be a volunteer to help them out. They have a point person at each building that the blood drive is run at um, outside of their employees, like for the blood bank, so that the person knows the building, they know how to get in, they know where the bathrooms are, they can help get the tables out and the chairs out and help the other blood technicians um, understand the building and layout and whatnot. Um, I also would be recruitment, I learned, um, but their blood drive is almost all the way full. And so I don't really need to do a ton. They have sent flyers for me to send out with, with uh, links to signing up for the blood drives. But I think people picked me to do this because I donate blood every eight weeks. <laughs> and I have gone to our own building to donate blood many, many, many times. And so I already know like kind of the whole I've never set up a blood drive, obviously, but like I understand the logistics of the blood drive itself. So they put me in charge in it. She's like, I'm just gonna let you know the person I was working with, with the blood company, whatever you wanna call it. Um, she's like, I can put you in as a temporary person, but if you do a good job at it, you're likely gonna be the long-term you know, contact to do this going forward. But luckily, um, blood drives in our area, at least at our locations here in town, um, they fill up very quickly. In fact, I have a hard time getting slots at our building because they fill up so fast. So I just was doing that. Um, before that, I was actually working out and waiting for um, this call to happen. So now I'm going to put my desk right back up, hop back on. Um, I only got 26 minutes in on my walk and I'm not even a mile in. So I slept in this morning and just kind of relaxed. Um, battery's flashing. So I'm gonna hop back on. The kids are just playing lazy today. Um, I will run out and take Abby to work. I believe Abby goes to work today. 
she's picking up a couple extra shifts because it's um, break and that's great because she can work the extra hours. Um, <clears throat> and then I don't know what we're doing today. I don't have any plans. I have to go to the bank and I have to go get more cortisone. I'm running out and I'm still breaking out in hives and stuff at night so it's kind of handy to have and my fingers aren't fully repaired. They get a little itchy in the morning so I kind of reach over and put some on. So literally don't have any other plans but I'm sure we'll have fun. We'll figure something out. All right, I have finished working out. I only did two miles. That's okay. Um, showered and Ashley is going to put braids in my hair again. I really liked it curly. It didn't really last into today, especially having it pulled up to work out. So in between doing laundry and what else am I doing? I'm just doing laundry, just folded. Well, I'm not even done folding. There's a lot of laundry in there. Ashley is going to braid my hair. Yes? Yeah. Two Dutch braids. I've got ponytails for you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I show them what it looks like? Sure. It's cute. I might have you do my hair like this in Hawaii. I'm already and then going when, to. I know. And then when you take it out at night, I'll have curly hair. I'm doing Jacobs. You're going to. He likes it or not. I'm doing Okay. It. Here, show them what it looks like. When I say I have a lot of laundry, this is, <laughs> I mean, I have about eight sweatshirts of Kaylee and Abby's in there that I just need to hang up. Um, this is all hanging. This is all folding to put into Chelsea and Ashley's buckets. And this is the pile of socks and Ashley's underwear. I've mainly put everyone else's underwear up already. But I have to take Abby to work. So I have a book that I'm gonna come back to read. Or read in the car. I might go get a drink and read in the car just because I'm bored. But I've got to find my purse. <laughs> it's under here. You guys, I haven't wanted to pick up the camera at all today. It's been so boring, yes? Ashley, mm -hmm. we'll show them what you did to occupy your time. I just had dinner. I just did a little, like, taco. Kind of like the Crunchwrap Supreme, except I didn't try and fold in the size because I only have one size of shell. But I just did cheese and then meat, taco meat. And then um, I put that, crush, that crispy taco in the middle sour cream and then a lettuce some more cheese and then the taco bell sauce and then the top uh, to uh tortilla shell and then i just put it on the pan and grilled both sides and it was pretty good i'm just full there's just one piece left and i bet jason will i bet he'll eat that but when i was at target today i got her a little something to occupy her time with and it happens to be that look how cute I got her a little spring cake to make and she's dying to cut into it. So I just told him, told her I needed to like show it because it's very, very cute. Did you use all the frosting for that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just went to the, if you want to find the good frosting is go to like the holiday aisle. It's You'll falling, always find it there. It was falling apart. So if you don't use the whole thing, it will fall apart. Yep. Okay. She's been wanting to cut into this cake. Yes? yes? Dad tried to trick me today and say that he didn't pick up Abby from work. I was like, nice try. I saw he pull into the parking lot at where her work is at 6.45 and sit there for 15 minutes to wait for her to pick up. And he's like, oh, dang nabbit, the Tesla app gave me away. <laughs> I said, yep, it did. It did give him away. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm watching what am I watching? Summer House. Um, I also got a box of blueberry mix. She's going to make blueberry muffins for us for breakfast tomorrow. Give her something to do in the morning. <laughs> I realized something today when I was at Target. I realized that my C, no, yeah, my C, no, my C girls, Kaylee and Chelsea, are not bakers. And Ashley and Abby are. My A names are bakers. And the other two, they can cook their own meals and do their own things, but they do not necessarily care to bake. Thought that was kind of interesting. So yes, I'm having a snack, but I've just learned that if I, if I restrict myself too much, then that's all I think about. So I'm going to sit here and watch 
We'll see if Jason has anything interesting to add about his day. He's trying to push to get all the accounting done in the next couple weeks and it's just making him have to stay late and go early and on that kind of thing because we really need to file our taxes. Um, we always have to extend, but he needs to file them well before April, which is like in just a, sh a few short weeks in order to not have it get in the way of our vacation and birthdays and Easter and all the stuff in April. He doesn't want to like get it, you know, down to the line. So he's been staying late and going early. Like I don't even know what time he leaves in the morning. I roll over at 7.30 and he's already gone. I'm like, holy moly. Um, side note, I wore those little pants that I got at Costco yesterday and I quite like them. They kind of um, are a little bit thicker, which is kind of nice. It keeps me just a little bit warmer. I have to sit in the car and wait for people often and I don't like to keep the heat on, the car on, um, and waste gas. But these kept me nice and warm today. So, you know, good $12 Costco pants. And yes, you've hit your 40s when you're Almost your entire closet is from Costco, but how many of you can relate to that? Pretty sure a lot of you can relate to that because the other t-shirts that you have come from Hawaii. So <laughs> I know you, I know you guys. I know that's what's the case for me.